So this question looks like it's going to maybe be a simplified question. It's two and a half lines long. So let's read it and let's see if I'm right about the strategy. So the question says, if a three pound pizza is sliced in half and each half is sliced into thirds. So actually, although this is kind of an offshoot to of simplify, I like to call this plug in picture. So with plug in picture questions, basically any question that describes something that can be drawn, I suggest that you draw it. So I have this pizza, so I'm assuming it's a circular pizza, and it is three pounds, right? So this is three pounds. And what's gonna to happen to this pizza? It's sliced in half, and then each half is sliced into thirds, right? So one, okay, so. Something like that. And then this half, same thing. And what is the weight in ounces of each of the slices? Well, one of these slices is one sixth of the pizza, right? Because I have one, two, three, four, five, six slices. So one slice is one sixth of the pizza. If the entire pizza is three pounds, right? This is LB for pounds. If the entire pizza is three pounds, then one slice of pizza should be one sixth of the three pounds. However, we also see that there's a note here. Um, and in the question, we want the weight in ounces, not in pounds. So let's turn our three pounds into ounces. So we know that we want three pounds, but the question tells us that one pound is equal to 16 ounces. So that makes the pounds cross out there. Three times 16, you can throw that into your calculator. And what you'll find is that three times 16 is 48 ounces. So instead of saying one sixth of three pounds, I'm gonna turn this into one sixth of 48 ounces. Treat this like a 48 over one. I can cross cancel here. So six goes into six once, six goes into 48 eight times. So therefore, one times eight, I have eight ounces, one times one, right? There's no need to write that as my denominator. So altogether, that single slice of pizza should be eight ounces, and that is answer choice C.